Hello our most developed student, my name is Confident and welcome to our 24 minute lesson. This is the ultimate guide in maths, science, career guidance as well as a sneak peek in my personal experiences. This is a channel that is designed with you in mind. Let us dive into today's lesson. Hello once again our most developed student, my name is Confident and welcome to the ultimate guide for the term one week for your mathematics grade 9 and we have already looked at quite a number of lesson here where we looked at the whole numbers we went on to look at um, uh, we went on to look at the prime numbers and currently we are looking at the ratio and rate and we've done a few questions here up to 3.4 now this is a continuation to uh, question 3.5 it means if you are coming in contact with these videos for the first time, you have missed quite a lot of videos, I will encourage you therefore to subscribe and ensure that the notification bell is turned on so that you can be notified. This is a good revision for your term 1 work if you want to make sure that you do well in your term 1. Now let's look at this question 3.5 where we are continuing to look at the speed, distance and time. It says if Ethan can run 2 kilometers in 8 minutes, how long will it take him to run 5 kilometers if he maintains his speed? So these are the things that you need to be aware of. Let's underline the key things. If Ethan can run, this is 2 kilometers in 8 minutes. So the 2, two kilometer is the what? The speed S is 2 kilometers. So it's already in good units. The right unit is it must be in kilometers. And then time. It's in 8 minutes, but uh, we want to work uh, in hours. So it's 8 minutes. So I will encourage you, as I said, change these minutes to what? To hours. And then I said, what do you do? You take 8 minutes, you divide them by 60. Remember, we said from minutes to go to hours, what do you do? You divide by 60. It will convert to hours. That's it. So that's why we are dividing by 60. And then you can leave it like that. Or if it can be simplified, you can try with the calculator and see whether it can be simplified to give a simpler number. So you're going to say 8 divided by 60 and see if it can give you a simpler number. Say SD. See, if it gives you such numbers, just leave it like that. 8 over 60 for now. And then, or you can leave it as a simplified fraction. is still fine. And then it gives you two versions here it says how long will it take and then it gives you another version whereby it says if he runs five kilometers uh, and maintains his speed so now we don't know now the speed which means if we're going to say speed uh, here I used the wrong word distance D not S D is for two kilometers it can run then speed is what we don't know we're gonna call it also s we don't know our speed here so it's a question mark so now it says how long will it run five kilometers which is our d it has changed it's now five kilometers and then speed is maintained as s right so we also don't know time here time is t so obviously time is going to change so now let's calculate what? Let's calculate speed in the first one. Remember what you use? Your triangle. And what is the triangle saying? Distance is speed times time. That's what we're going to use here to say. We are looking at what? We are looking at the speed, S. Speed is equal to, what is speed? Is distance over time. But if you write it like this, they don't want you to write it like that. They want you to write it in full. You are going to say speed is equal to distance over time. Which is equal to, what is the distance? We say distance is 2 and then divided by time which is 8 over 60. If you feel like this is going to confuse you, I'll say, okay, it's fine. Go on and convert that. 
Remember that conversion? You said what? 8 divided by 60 equal to, you press SD, you can write it up to maybe three decimal places, which is 0, 0.133. So you can have here to say, uh, when you convert it, 0, 0.133. So that here you're going to say equal to 2 over 0, 0.133. Are you with me which is equal to but if you were doing it if you wanted to get the exact answer you this is how you do it you say two over that's where you put the fraction there and then you say eight over 60 you just need to be careful now see i'm getting 15 but if i say it two over 0, 0.133 i might not get the exact 15 if i press sd you see it gives me 15.0 37 you see but the actual answer there was what was 15 kilometers per hour don't forget what you're calculating speed speed is distance distance is not is in kilometers and then time is in hours you see kilometers over hour that's what is meaning kilometers per hour units are very important so now since we know the speed here is 15 kilometers per hour they are saying how long will it take him to run if he maintains the same speed we now know the speed here what was the speed he ran at 15 kilometers per hour so the first statement was helping you to find the speed now the same question is how long what does the word how long mean meaning time find t hence we are trying to find t there you use the same uh, triangle to say t time is equal to d is on top which is distance over what speed you see that which is equal to what is the distance is running five kilometers over what is the speed we say the speed is 15 kilometers and then we can now get the time that is going to take and then if you now use your calculator you can say 5 divided by 15 is equal to 1 over 3 so if you say SD which is 0, 0,3333 these are hours so it's 0, 0,333 hours so this is the time they never specify to say leave your answer in minutes and hours but usually when you are given such 0, 0.33 hours whenever there is a decimal you can convert it to minutes what do you do remember now we are moving let me uh, do this a box here if we are moving from minutes to hours what did i say from minutes to hours you divide by 60 but the opposite is true from hours to minutes what must you do you multiply the hours by 60 because the hours are bigger you multiply by 60 so what it means is you are going to take that 0, 0,333 but you remember in fraction it was 1 over 3 so you are going to say 1 over 3 you multiply it by 60 you can see that this symbol becomes 20 minutes if you use a calculator so here two kilometers he ran it in eight minutes five kilometers he ran it in 20 minutes so that is that that's how you can approach it like that but someone can come and say but this can be done using the next lesson we're going to look at is rates or ratios to say what did he do it can be simplified two kilometers he did it in eight minutes this one doesn't want you to convert anything two kilometers in eight minutes what about five kilometers okay how long they still want time five kilometers is equal to what we can see we don't know the time then after that you do what is called cross multiplying that multiplies that this multiplies that so you are going to say two times t two times 
t is equal to uh, 5 times 8. That's how it's done. But you are interested in t, so what you do is you say over, over, you divide by what you don't want. Since you want to remain with t, divide by 2, divide by 2. So this is now an equation. What you do on the left is what you do on the right. So that that 2 goes. So you've got time that you need is 5 times 8 over 2. 2 into 8, it will give you 4 there. You can use a calculator even here. Say 5 times 8 divided by 2, it will give you 20. Remember, time here is in minutes. So it will be simple 20 minutes. This is called proportion. These are rates uh, and proportion. Or ratios. You can even call it ratios. But it's mainly for the next lesson, if you want to use it like that. All right. Next one, 3.6. This says 3.5, but it's actually 3.6. It says what? It says a certain distance is covered in three hours. So a certain distance, we don't know that distance, D, is covered in three hours time at an average speed S of that. How long, how long, how long? They want T there. How long will it take to cover the same distance? Distance is still d. It's the same distance, see? At an average speed, the speed has changed. That is now s, the new s there. Now, let's take the first information. There is two sets of information. Let's take the first one. A certain distance, d is equal to d, is covered in three hours, t is equal to three hours very important to write the units at an average speed speed is 120 kilometers per hour very important also now after that it reminds me come up with your triangle as fast as you can d s and t already it shows you that with this triangle i can find my distance to say what is my distance my distance is um, speed times time. Okay, let me just take this to the top, a little bit at the top here. To say my distance is speed times time, which is equal to, what is my speed? It's 120 times time is 3 hours. So, this one gives me now the distance travel so it's 120 times 3 is 360 what kilometers 360 distance is in kilometers don't forget that so i know the distance they then say the same distance is measured now let's go to the second side here the same distance here which is 360 kilometers so you see the information from the previous one is now being used in the next statement and then how long will it take? Uh, how long? T is what we don't know now. If it travels at an average speed of 90, so the speed was 120, so it's slowed down. We expect now the time to take even longer. So now we have got speed, average speed has changed. It's now 90 kilometers per hour. Right. Use the same uh, formula DST. So now we're looking at what? We want T which is time is equal to distance see that distance d over s over speed which is the s all right which is equal to what is the distance is 360 over what is this um the speed is 90 then it will give you the time now it took so if you say here 360, you divide by 90 equal to 4. And then you've got time is for what? 4 hours. Remember, it has to be in hours. So you can see that it makes sense. If he was moving at 120, which is high speed, he took less time, 3 hours. Now he slowed down, he's now moving at 90, it, take lot, it takes more time, which is 4 hours. So that's how you approach this. So what am I saying, guys? We've come to the revision, the end of the revision of the speed, distance, and time under rates and ratios. 
the next one it says more examples on ratios and rates this now i will say np 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 you do not want to lose or uh, uh, not follow up on the next lesson because most of the questions that come you know questions like Tavis car uses one liter of fuel to travel 12 kilometers how much of fuel will be needed to travel 420 they love these questions the examiners love look at this I've got more questions 3.7 3.8 3.9 all these are questions different types of questions 3.10 3 3.11 3.12 3.13 3.14 3.15 3.16 see I'm trying to cover as much 3.17 3.18 3.19 and again I go on to say high order questions all this you see 3.2.1 3.2.2 uh three point yeah and all that before we go on to direct and indirect proportion so this next session i'll say is very very important i don't know how many videos will be but i intend to cover everything that covers this section so what am i saying i will encourage you you need to be subscribed if you are not subscribing and you're watching without subscribing when i'm posting these new videos you are not going to get any notification because you are not subscribed subscribe so that YouTube can follow up and send you a notification. Again, if you are benefiting alone, that's being selfish. Share this channel to your friends. Share this channel to any person you think they might benefit from this channel because it is also going to help them the same way it is helping you. We've come to the end of our lesson. Thank you.